Hi, Keith Young here with an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. This tutorial is pretty much for complete beginners to Adobe Illustrator. The version of Illustrator that I'm using is version CS4. If, however, you're using a higher version than that, uh, all the instructions that I'm going to give you will be compatible with both CS5 and CS6. In order to get the same results that I have, I would like for you to uh, set your windows to their default position if you're not familiar with how to do that and then if your window doesn't quite look like mine what you can do to do that is go to the window menu and choose workspace and essentials and that will make your windows go back to their default position if you want to follow along with me in this tutorial as you can see on the sides of the uh, window I have this toolbar and it's one straight line if you click these double arrows in the upper left hand corner that will make your toolbar into a double sided or du have double columns for the toolbar you can do the same over here on the right to expand the panels just click on the little double triangles and that will expand the panel panels now let's go ahead and create a new document so go to the file menu and choose new. In the new document window that pops up what we're going to do is just make a basic letter sized sheet of uh, paper or document to deal with and you can choose the size that you want from the custom sizes here so you can choose letter, legal, tabloid, A4, A3, B5, B4. We're going to choose letter and we can change this points into inches and then change the orientation from portrait into landscape and when you're done with all that go ahead and click OK we now have a basic document to work with and we can go ahead and start with our project I'm going to select the ellipse tool from the toolbar which is this tool here I'm going to click it to select it and I want to change the white color the foreground color from white to red so I'm gonna to click to select the fill color to bring it to the front and then I'm going to select a red color from my swatches panel and you can see that the foreground color has now changed I don't want a stroke on this ellipse that I'm going to create so I'm going to click the stroke in the toolbar to bring that to the front and then I'm going to click this white box with the red diagonal line through it which will cancel out or take off the stroke of any item that I create and now I'm ready to create my ellipse so I'm just going to click and drag with my mouse to create a basic ellipse and now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a really cool way to use the rotate tool to create some flower petals so let's go ahead and select the rotate tool and I'm going to zoom in so you can see that there is a light blue crosshair in the center of this object and what this crosshair does is tells the object which axis to rotate around so the first thing you need to do is click to tell Illustrator where you want to rotate this flower around so I would like to rotate the flower around a point outside of itself uh, say right below the flower so I'm going to click with my mouse and the crosshair jumps down to the area that I just clicked on now what you need to do in order to rotate the object is simply click again and you can begin to rotate your object like so and you notice that it rotated itself around the crosshair I'm gonna hit the edit menu and choose undo rotate because I'm gonna show you how we can use this to create some flower petals so what we'll need to do is click that area again that we want to rotate around and this time I would like you to hold down your option key if you're on a Mac or the alt key if you're on a PC and you'll get this double arrow a black arrow with a white arrow behind it what that means is that you're about to make a duplicate copy so we're going to rotate and duplicate this object at the same time 
So I'm going to click and drag with the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key held down to rotate that flower petal. And then I'm going to let go of the mouse button and the Option key. And we have a perfect copy of that flower petal uh, created for us. Now another cool thing that we can do, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to go to view and zoom out. The keyboard shortcut is command minus on a Mac or control minus on a PC. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and then I'm going to dup continue to duplicate this object around but I'm going to use the object menu to do it. I'm going to click on the object menu and I'm going to choose transform and then transform again. And as you can see, the illustrator made another copy of the rotation as well as another flower petal for us. So we don't have to keep doing that option, uh, operation over again uh, manually. So I'm going to go to the object menu, transform, transform again. Object menu, transform, transform again. And one more time, transform again. And now we have these uh, petals rotated around the axis that we chose to help us speed up our process. So that's a pretty cool way to use the rotate tool to make duplicates of an object. Now what I need to do to complete my flower is I'm going to choose the ellipse tool again. I'm going to choose a different color like orange and I'm going to click and drag to the center of this object and as you can see when I chose that orange color I still have a red fill and now I have an orange outline so let me show you how to fix that because I didn't actually intend for this to be this way so I'm gonna select the object go over to the toolbar and I'm going to hit this little swap fill swap stroke icon which is this bent arrow with two arrowheads on it so I'm gonna click that to turn the orange to the fill and the red to the stroke and then I'm going to click on the none icon which is the white box with the red stroke to get rid of that red stroke and now I have uh, an orange ellipse as the center of my flower I'm going to use the hand tool to click and drag and just move our object up into better view you can also hold down the space bar to activate the hand tool while you have another tool selected. And from there we have used our rotate tool to create duplicate copies for us. And that was the point of this Illustrator tutorial. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful and I'll see you next time.